It's a big day, not just here on Earth. Scientists at NASA will be watching today's solar eclipse very closely. The space agency will be sending rockets into the path of the eclipse in an effort to help unravel the mysteries of the solar system. Stephen Bowen joins us now. He's a NASA astronaut and most recently traveled to the ISS as commander of NASA's SpaceX Crew-6 mission. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, Vlad. Good morning, Michael. So for people who may not understand the science behind a solar eclipse, just give us the bullet points of what actually happens in a full, <laughs> in a total solar eclipse. Just basically, the moon comes in front of the path of the sun, obscuring the sun. We're very fortunate that the moon is of a size where it can totally obscure the sun. In the fall, we had a different eclipse where the uh, moon, because of its distance, was actually slightly smaller than the sun, so we had an annular eclipse. So this is, I think, the first one, uh, well, the last one for 20 years that we'll have a full eclipse here in North America. Uh, Stephen, when we see the actual eclipse, if you're on the path, what are you actually going to see on the ground? Will it really look like nighttime? Oh, it's amazing. I had the good fortune of seeing the last one in 2017. And it's, uh, it's you know, you'll be watching the sun and you'll see the last rays of the sun, sort of that ring effect, the diamond ring effect that they talk about. And everything will start to get dark because you're going to be looking at the sun, but you'll start to realize that it's starting to get really dark around you. Uh, you don't really see too much of a shade, a change in the amount of sun you're seeing noticeably until sort of toward the end, just before totality. And it, it'll get dark, it'll actually get quiet, which I surprised me. The temperature dropped a few degrees while you're standing there. It's, uh, it's really an amazing sight to see. So wait, I, I, I was just telling Michael that my wife and I went to see the 2017 eclipse uh, in Central Park, and I was also surprised by how quiet it got. Is that a celestial yeah. phenomenon, or is that just everybody gazing up into the sky? <laughs> Well, it's not just us, it's nature, right? If it's the birds and the animals and all, everybody's kind of, everything's a little surprised by it because it does happen so suddenly. You know, you, we talk about when the, uh, when the moon starts to cover up the sun, it's only in those last couple, you know, last little bit before it totally covers the sun that you see the change in, in light. And that really, I think, catches nature's off scar too. And now we mentioned that NASA is going to be launching rockets into the path of the eclipse. What's the purpose of that? What do we learn from that? So there's a lot of things we can learn. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the astronomical aspects, you're looking at the corona of the, of the sun because that's the opportunity when the moon is right in front of it. But also, you can look at what effects this actually has on the atmosphere. And I think the launch of the rockets out of Wallops Island uh, to get a sense of what that is doing, they're sounding rockets, and they'll be able to see, you know, what effect this is having on the atmosphere as a whole, and potentially it's on the ground as well. There are a lot of interesting science going on. So uh, what is NASA doing to capitalize on the eclipse? Uh, how to make this sort of an educational moment? When I was a kid, we, uh, this is in the 70s, we used to make uh, pinhole cameras to, uh, we made them out of, um, of an, out of an oatmeal box or, or a canister. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, is that still kind of what children are learning about? Well, of course. You know, we, we have, uh, we'll be doing that this afternoon. I know there's a little segment well, NASA is going to put on about making a, a pinhole camera. It's very simple to do and it works. But the availability of Eclipse glasses is pretty amazing. And since they have standards now for what that means, uh, they're really safe to use and really the ideal way of viewing the eclipse. Don't look at the sun without your Eclipse glasses on. Oh, sure. That's yeah. good advice. Got, got mine handy right here. Uh, Stephen, I, I got to yeah, ask you. It's so good. <laughs> I, I, I got to ask you, because you've actually been to space. So is it still magical to see an eclipse like this? Or is this, hey, you know, I've seen everything. I've been out there. Oh, no, no, no. This is absolutely magical. I mean, you know, it's, it's, Earth is amazing. You know, you don't have to go to space to get that perspective. You just have to step outside absorb what is happening around you. And today's celestial event is just absolutely magical. It's, it's a truly a once in a lifetime event. Well, Stephen Bowen, good to see you on Earth. And I know we'll have our <laughs> eyes on the skies today. Thanks. You're very welcome. And we will have live coverage of today's total eclipse beginning at 1 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS News and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.